This is the best museum ever. Yes, this is awesome. They've got toys, they've got games, they've got a shrine to Spider-Man, they've got creepy little <laughs> dolls, they've got, cars. they've got cars, initial D. What don't they have? Today we'll visit an interesting museum. Located to the northwest of Tokyo is Gunma Prefecture. Just a couple of hours away, it's home to our destination, Ikaho Toy, Doll, and Car Museum. But don't worry, this museum has way more than just toys, dolls, and cars. According to the website, you can get a discount on admission if you can solve the riddle on the website. In Japanese, of course, so good luck. This museum feels like dozens of different collectors of all sorts of different hobbies got together and said, hey, let's make a museum. It's really fascinating. Its self-proclaimed claim to fame is being the largest amusement spot representing Japan as a whole. As you traverse, you'll find yourself in what looks like an old Japanese shopping district. Inside one of the shops is a game corner. 300 yen and you can play an old form of pachinko to try and win prizes. The attendant here is a retired singer and was a blast to chat with. <laughs> now it's my turn. I started out hot, but missed quite a few. If you get enough in, you'll win free admission. But I was just three short. I still won a couple of cool prizes. There is simply no end to the cool things at this museum. The displays are unique and brilliant. I just love the Astro Boy toys. Known as Tetsuwan Atomu in Japan, he's one of the oldest anime and manga characters. The collection of Shohei Baba, known as the Giant Baba paraphernalia is really neat. He was a Japanese professional wrestler from the 60s to 90s and passed away in 1999. He was six foot 10, and was a record 17-time champion of various leagues, beloved by all of Japan. 
and was voted the 92nd greatest person in the history of Japan. Oh, and those creepy dolls are called Cupies. You get one as a token of entrance, and if the paint shop is open, you can paint your own before leaving. And there's more games and prizes too. 300 more yen for 5 chances to shoot down a toy. What you knock over is what you win. It's great fun. I really have terrible aim, but luckily I want a couple of toys myself. That's it for the toys for the most part. On to the cars. Buy some car cookies at the shop. Or see the famous AE86 car from Initial D. So we're here at the Initial D part of the museum. Initial D is an anime and manga. Right? It's an old movie. And it's about the, the kid who can't pass his tests. He keeps getting D's initially, right? And then, uh, <laughs> Even if you're not into that anime, but like cars, this place has dozens. I'll admit to knowing almost nothing about cars, and it's still really cool to look at all the different types. even have a shrine to Spider-Man. And a koi pond. And walking outside, don't expect a reprieve from the chaotic randomness. Chair brings good luck. Words to live by. It's a lovely break if there's good weather, filled with movie posters and road signs. Path of random stuff. Not entirely sure. Pathway of random posters. Of course, Titanic. Where's Star Wars? Come on. No Star Wars, I'm highly disappointed. It's too loud. <laughs> Turtle Zoo? We can't forget about the doll part of the museum. Filled with an assortment of different types of dolls. This place never ends. I got a Ferrari and a squirrel garden. As the museum tour comes to an end, visit the cafe and the candy shop. Yeah, we just got done with the toy doll and car museum. And it was the best museum ever. Forget, forget the Edo Tokyo Museum. Forget the Ghibli Museum. Forget Amazing. the Smithsonian. Let's do it. Let's go. We left the museum to enjoy a bit of Guma and drive the route that supposedly inspired Initial D. 
a place where drivers in Japan come to drift their cars. So this is the road that Initial D is based on? Yeah, around this area. Okay. This is probably one of the roads. And there's actual... Yep, there's tire marks right tire here. Marks. <laughs> actual tire marks. People, People trying to replicate. I would cut here and drift my car. <laughs> this is a great... On a cool winter evening, it was a beautiful area of Japan to visit. This road is about to play some music for us. Here we go. Shrines of the Ducks. Lastly, we walked up the famous stairs in Ikaho. Ikaho is famous for its hot spring resorts. 365 steps up, it was a worthwhile workout for a beautiful view. <laughs> <laughs>